guys, Merry Christmas to you all. Today is 26th of December 2023. Yesterday was 25th. I guess we must all have a very merry day, like it sounds Merry Christmas. Did you marry? What is it? Let us know. It's right. The chicken has other source of food. Do you know what you ate? I hope you enjoyed it. What's important thing is make yourself happy. And remember, I've always told you make someone close to you happy. Alright? Okay, this is limited season. This is Christmas season. This is where people gather together. Some travel from all corners of the country, all corners of the world to come home. Where are you? Where are you watching from? Are you in Nigeria or some other African countries? Even if it is not African country, where exactly are you watching from? Did you travel? Anywhere you are, be safe. Please, be safe. This is the time that people come and tell different types of stories. This is when we do hear some ugly stories. Yes, you know where good things are happening. Also, we would as well hear one or two bad news. Don't let that bad news be for you. Be safe. Those few sensitive tips. Hmm? All right. If you must eat in someone's house, if you must eat from your neighbor, from your friends, people you visited, to your loved ones, or even the ones you don't know, sometimes occasions bring people together. And when you come together, one of the things will make you to eat, just like you come for a wedding, or occasion of birthday or some other parties to attend, and you want to eat, that person might be a stranger to you. Be so security conscious. Be very, very security conscious. Yes. Say a word of prayer before you start eating that food you did not prepare. Even the one you prepare. Yeah, you can pray to appreciate it. There was a little interruption. So I will say something. Someone provided food for you and you must eat. Be very security conscious. When you start eating this food, like I said, make say a word of prayer before you start eating this food. Hmm? What is the word of prayer then start eating this food? While eating it. As you're eating it, when you are done, Stop eating. Don't overfeed yourself. Don't take what you know your body does not accept because it is going to be like a poison to your body. Okay? Another thing is don't leave your food to answer a call. Your phone rings. You won't answer a call. You step out of where that food is. You go to eat. And after make when are you going to make a call? After making your call or receiving your call, you come back to that same food and start eating. Same thing applies to your drink. For any reason you've opened your drink, don't step out of that place if you are not sure what you drink. And if you must step out, carry your drink out of that place. You want to make a call, you want to eat yourself, carry your drink around. But for any reason you can't carry your drink, and you probably you it escapes your memory and it comes back. But you come back to your drink, don't drink it again. Don't trust anybody. Remember. Your enemy may not get you directly because that your enemy can't associate with you. It is whom you call a friend and is always close to you. That's who you will go out to. That's the person you would dine and wine with. You can't dine and wine with your enemy. So until your enemy can get you through this person, you call a friend. And sometimes, no enemy, but that person you have close to you, who you call a friend. So be so security conscious. Don't allow anyone to open your drink for you. Don't do the open by yourself. And if someone must open your drink for you, be so observant while the person opens it. Oh, oh yeah. If someone must open that drink, be so observant. When the drink is opened, take a drink. Finish it before you stand out of the play. But if you must start from where you're sitting, you're sitting, take your drink. Or you've left the place. You don't remember again to come with a drink, to go with a drink. When you come back, don't take that drink again. Remember, I said the enemy I know is person sitting close to you. Don't say he is my relative, she is my relative, he is my friend, he is my loved one. They love me so much. I've been with them for years. They are girls, you know. Mm -mm, don't trust anybody. That's two. Secondly, mind the kind of story you tell and who you will tell the story. Most of it have traveled from the city to, the, to some villages or some town. To meet different faces or some faces you know they were small and they have grown all grown now and have come to meet them you must have missed one or two things about them or some attitudes of them towards you some people come to pretend in fair presence behind you there's something different mind the kind of story you tell 
especially the story of your success. Travel, make your travel a place. Travel, stay, live a normal life, and come back. Don't go there and be showcasing what you have. Don't always want people to know. I've, yeah, I've been in this city, I've achieved this, I've achieved that. Don't show off. If, if possible, don't travel with your flashy cars. What you can travel with free. Don't just keep them there. Let your success be there for you. Not all are happy with your success. With these few tips of mine, I know I must have made sense. So comment in the comment section. Let me know what you've learned from this. And don't forget to share this video. This will help not only you, someone else. So don't carelessly and over excitement prepare and travel without observing these little safety tips. So little bit mighty. So, so guys, if you've learned what I'm talking from these safety tips, comment on the comment section and share this video. Don't forget to give it a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe if it is your first time of coming to this channel. Let me know how important this video is to you. I know your girl will know. Till you come again to my this channel, I will see you on my next video. Bye. Stay safe. Be safe. Drink safe. Travel safe. And keep your mouth shut.